Hi everybody, thanks for tuning in and thanks for purchasing a uh, painted home scarecrow kit. This is our first one that we're doing here at Charlie's Art and Souls YouTube channel. Uh, we'll be going through the paint that I use and some paint that if you can't find that, some other kinds of paint that will work, has some different colors and uh, thanks for tuning in. First paint I like to use, I like to uh, go to Michael's and pick up this Craft Smart acrylic permanent. Uh, I pretty much use this for all of our painting events. I use that or I like to go to Hobby Lobby and pick up Anita's All Purpose Acrylic. Now sometimes this uh, Anita's, it's, uh, sometimes it's pretty transparent like the white. I don't recommend the white at all. Like you'll paint it and it's just, it won't even it's just so clear that it won't even lay it down right. So, uh, but you can usually get some cool colors in the Anitas that you can't get with Craft Smart from Michaels. We're going to be using four different brushes. We're going to be using a big brush, a medium brush, a round brush, and a small brush. The uh, medium and the big brush, they could be square or they could have like a little slant to them. That's okay. You can see here my big brush will have like a little slant. It could, it could be straight across. That's okay too for this project. A round brush, it's just like just round a little bit thicker on the bottom than a small brush. And here's our small brush. And you can pick these up at Michael's. I like their brushes for these crafty projects like this. Go ahead and get your foam paper plate. I recommend using a foam paper plate. Just if you use a, a paper paper one, sometimes it'll the paper will actually start coming up with the paint, like it just because of the dampness. So we're gonna be using white, orange, brown, yellow, black, and red. And first we're going to be taking our, you can take the round brush or you can take your medium square brush. Let's go ahead and mix brown, yellow with white. Let's get a nice little khaki color. You can put some on your face of your scarecrow and see if you like that. If not, just add more brown or more yellow if you want it more darker. If it's too dark, just add more white to it. But I like taking that round brush and I'll go ahead and go around the eyes, around the nose first, and then I'll go back to the big brush and go ahead and start filling it in. So just take your uh, medium brush, go around the eyes and the nose, and then use your big brush and go ahead and fill in the whole face with that khaki color.
You can also take a little bit of brown and yellow, put a little bit of shadowing right on the top of the face and down the side of the face where the letters are. You can also take that same color, that same shadowing color, and go right underneath the nose. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and clean your brush out. Next, we're going to take the big brush. We're going to do uh, black and brown with the big brush. We're going to start on the right side of the scarecrow's hat. And we're going to be putting this brown and black shadowing the whole way up. Now, don't go past about halfway. I would kind of keep it about that. So go ahead and take some brown and black. Go up the right side of, your, of the board on your scarecrow's hat. When you're finished with that, go ahead and clean your brush out. Now we're going to take a little bit of brown. We're going to do brown and yellows, maybe a little bit of white. We're going to start there in the middle, and you just want to kind of go with the shape of the hat. It's going to have a little arc to it. Just going to go right into that black. Go both ways. You can hold your brush skinny ways. Get some nice little grooves. What you want to do is let some of that black kind of peek through there. You don't want to cover up the whole thing. You just want to kind of take your brush strokes to where it almost looks like it's folding over but you want to take brown yellows and white
when you're finished with that, what you want to do now is you want to take that big brush, you want to add a little bit more white to your color, and then we're going to, this will be the lighter side of the hat, so you want to kind of do that same dragging your brush over, letting some of that other color that you have on there kind of peek through, make it look like it's kind of folding over. You can put a little bit more white highlights in if you want more yellow. Put a little bit more yellow in. It's all in whatever you want to do. There's no right or wrong. When you're finished with that, go ahead and clean your brush out. Now we're going to go ahead and fill the band on the hat in black. I'll be using the big brush here also. So just go ahead and fill that whole band in black. Now we're going to go ahead and take that same brush with the black. We're going to go ahead and go underneath the hat. Now you're going to be on the scarecrow's face. We're going to do a line of black there also. It could be thicker. You don't. This is where we're going to put the hair. So the hair is going to go over top of this. So go ahead and go right across his face. And you can also go down underneath the hat through the C also. Just give a little bit of a shadowing underneath the, the brim of the hat. But make sure you get up there on his face. And don't forget to get down into your sea of your welcome. There will be a little part of the hat hiding in through there. Now you can take a little bit of white, add a little bit of highlights, just a few. Go ahead and clean your brush out. We can go ahead and fill this little section here. I guess this is under his collar or his scarf. We're going to fill this black in also, give it a nice little shadowing. So this will be not under his chin, but on down in the next little segment there that goes up into the O. Once you're finished with that, go ahead and clean your brush out. Now we're going to take our big brush. We're going to take brown and orange. Let's go ahead and fill in that collar section right underneath the scarecrow's head. Let's go ahead and fill that in with that brown and orange. And this will probably take a couple coats. If you want it more brown, just add more brown to it. If you want more orange, just add more orange to it. Now, orange is pretty transparent, so it'll take you more layers. And then once you're going to do underneath, just kind of do the same thing you did on the hat. Just kind of pull that up into the black a little bit, shadow it a little bit. You don't want to cover up the whole black, just a little bit. Kind of give it that gradient effect. And then go ahead and fill in the little points there go around your M
Next, we're going to take that same color that you have. We're going to add a little bit of white to it. Let's go ahead and add a little bit of highlights here on his collar. So just kind of go with the shape. Kind of go with the shape like right underneath his chin. Just kind of do that same shape right on the collar. Kind of has a curve down. You can add a few little ones down here on that little points. Just have fun with it. If you think you're getting too many, just, just stop. It's all in whatever you want to do. Once you're finished with that, I'm going to go ahead and clean that big brush out. Then I'm going to take one of the uh, medium square brushes. You can do the brown brush also. I'm going to take that same brown and orange. I'm going to go ahead and fill his nose in. You can even add a little bit of that white. Give it a nice little highlight when you're finished filling that in. Whenever you're finished with that, go ahead and clean your medium brush out. Let's go ahead and take our small brush. I'm going to be taking brown, yellow, white, and I'm going to mix some, not mix some. Sometimes it'll be just brown. Sometimes it'll be brown and yellow. Sometimes it'll be yellow and white, just yellow. We're going to start pulling down the little pieces of straw. You don't want to go the whole way up. You want to leave like a little bit of that black right at the bottom of the brim to kind of give it that shadowing effect but just kind of you can either pull up or pull down and just kind of pull some straw that's peeking out of that hat just have fun with this crisscross them curve them there's no uh right or wrong way i like to kind of keep it going one way on one side crossing them over but still keeping that same arc so if it's on the uh, left side i'll make sure it's curving that way on the right side i'll curve it that way
When you're finished with that, go ahead and clean your small brush out. I want to go back to the medium square brush. I'm going to mix a little bit of white, red, and maybe a little bit of orange with that. We're going to go ahead and start filling in the cheeks. Just do a nice little circle motion with your brush. If you want to dry brush that out so the edges are not so harsh, you can do that. I like to keep them just a little bit. Right above the bottom of the nose. Everyone has different cheeks, so I'm sure yours is going to look great. When you're finished with your cheeks, go ahead and clean your brush out. Now we're going to take our small brush with black. Let's go ahead and fill our eyes in. I like to do this with the small brush. go ahead and add little eyelashes when you're ready for that. Let's go ahead and add our little stitch eyebrows. I really like that. Let's add the little stitches around his nose.
Now for his smile, I like to start off with an X right on the cheek, right in the, right in the corner. And then I'll do the little stitches. Make sure you get a nice little smile going. He doesn't want to be too grumpy. When you're finished with your smile, go ahead and clean your small brush out. Let's take that small brush, take a little bit of white, and let's put a little glare in his eye. This will bring him to life. Every time I do this, and I have to put a glare in a snowman or a scarecrow or Santa, every time I do that, I always think of uh, Frosty on that cartoon. when He's like, happy birthday. <laughs> When you're finished with your glare, you can go ahead and clean your small brush out. Next, we're going to take our medium square brush. Let's go ahead and start filling in our welcome. And that's just with white. Just take your time. Go ahead and start filling your letters in. Whenever I'm doing my letters, I, I always make sure that I'm using the Craft Smart White. Seems like it goes on a little bit better. So make sure you have that. Might take a few uh, coats. Just take your time.
And for the last step, what we want to do is we want to go ahead and fill our crow in black. I'm sorry, whenever I filmed this the first time that the, uh, the camera stopped working and I didn't notice. So I uh, just fill the whole crow in black. And then once you get that, fill it in black. You can notice like the little bit of gray highlights on the top of the beak, top of the head, down his back, around the wing, just the top of it. Just take a little bit of gray with your medium brush and just try to kind of fade that in there a little bit. Give a little bit of highlight at the top. And then once you're finished with that, go ahead and just put a little white eye in. Well, I hope you guys had a blast. Just make sure that if your uh, letters need another coat of white, just go ahead and do that. Let it dry. Go over it again. I think they turned out great. I'm pretty sure that yours turned out great. I can't wait to see the pictures. Make sure to send me pictures of your finished product so I can uh, post them on our Facebook page at Charlie's Art and Soul. And uh, make sure to check out uh, the new uh, home kits. I hope you had a good time. If you're not finished yet, just rewind it. Go back. Just take your time. There's other things that you can add. If you want to add anything, you can always add like little patches to the face. Things like that. Uh, just take your time and have fun. Be creative. I'll see you around.